Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Day 14, I've made a little bit of progress. Let's get going. We're getting there. I have to fuse a bunch of pages still. I reconfigured this and made it smaller. There will be a title something behind here. My reason why, a table of contents, a filler page. Um, at the airport at JFK, Tuesday. This is now, again, upside down. Third time's a charm, hopefully. Um, here is my ticket. And some accoutrements from the airplane. The date. A camera sticker. And the, like, ear, earbud things that they give you for their connector um, ends. And we flip that over. And we have uh, first impressions of Saigon. Not Saigon, Hanoi. And oops, this needs to go. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to cover up the hotel logo. It was really pretty. The Hotel de la Opera, Hanoi, which was right by the Opera House, um, which was very French looking. The Opera House was. And then we have Wednesday. Hold on a second. How did Tuesday get before Wednesday? Oh, this goes like this. This was my typical breakfast. Um, the Ho Chi Minh Memorial. So that goes like that. Then we had water puppets. And we had... This will all get um, fused down and cut and trimmed, but I haven't done it yet. Um, the welcome dinner, some words in Vietnamese. The welcome dinner is on the outside, a tip in. And that will all get fixed with a fuse tool. Then we have Wednesday. And we did the um, Museum of Literature, which is a tribute to Confucius. And all of that. Hmm, this is rather heavy. This does not go in here. Okay, so that we have that. This still needs a home, but I have this. So I can take this off and put it on the outside of the envelope. I could make it a tip in that I put on top. I just don't know yet. So for right now, it's like that. Then we have the a filler page, Vietnam in color. Something needs to go here. So now we're here. We are at the drive to Sapa, which was a five-hour drive. And I am going to take this red pen. And these are Dina Wakeley's um, collage collection in little forms. And you know what? These might have been the books. No, I think these are all new. I keep saying that. Okay, anyhow. One, two, and three. There's three of these books. And I cut out one of them from here, but it has a little bit too much pink. So I'm going to go over that in red. And now I'm going to fast forward because I think I might be able to spend some time here today. Some things have calmed down. I took yesterday off, stepped away, did a crazy road trip with my sister just to Florence, which we went there for one specific thing. We did it. We will never do it again. And we could check that off our bucket list. There's red at the tip of this one and a little yellow. So I'm going to leave the yellow there. I'm sure this is hard for y'all to see. This is the Tombow marker, which is made in Vietnam, which is wild. And
Chinese red. So now that kind of now fits in. It doesn't really fit in with this side. And I'm going to take this out. This is just sitting in here. Okay, so now we're going to go fast forward because this is all going to take a while. We have some information that we learned on the road about cinnamon growth and lacquer growth. And we had a flat tire. And I have my trip that I'm going to put where we went from Hanoi to Sapa, which is and then we had lunch on the very northern tip. Before you cross over to China, we could see China, literally. And then we came back and then we went up on a smaller bus because we had to get a smaller bus because the roads are so small up to. Actually, this is where we had lunch, Lao Kai, but it's right across the border. And then we drove a smaller bus from there to Sapa. But I'm, I got to figure out how to put all that in there. And this, which does not fit, which I got off of Wikipedia. And some more Vietnam cinnamon. So we're going to go fast forward. So after a one day, one day break, I think I kind of have my thoughts better organized in my head. Or at least the whatever that was on my phone, the, the anxiety of it has passed for the most part. Um, I got everything into page protectors and I am going to fuse them and then cut off the excess. But I may not do that until the very end um, when everything is settled um, in my head and in the book. Um, I think I got this book at the scrapbook store at the beach. Um, I found some on Amazon and they're uh, part of the Simple Stories um, brand, I believe. But it seems like they have two dot two styles of books. One is kind of like a pleather, and one is this really heavy, 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 heavy cardstock. The cardstock one are more expensive. So I think I got it on sale. Um, I don't think I would have paid like $27 for this. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> um, and I remember going in there on Labor Day. We were driving down Labor Day weekend. And I was able to, oh, no, yeah, no, I don't know. It was a holiday weekend. Maybe it was like National Scrapbook Day or something. It was a holiday weekend and they had a huge sale going on. So I might have got this in the sale. I can't remember. But I'm adding some red from magazines. I'm adding red with markers. Um, and just uh, doing some little bit of titling. Um, about the export of cinnamon that Vietnam does. Not only do they export Tombow markers, but they export cinnamon and rice. But I think it like might stay in Asia or maybe go as far west as Europe. Um, I don't think we, I don't know where our cinnamon comes from to tell you the truth, but I, it may come from Vietnam. I don't know. Anyhow, so I was able to um, use some papers that I had painted eons ago and cover up some of the markings on Dina Wakeley's um, paper there where it's a little bit too purpley-ish, but that's not the best part of what I did today, um, even if I do say so myself. I love that I was able to take that pink on the other side and turn it red, and that really helps too. Um, these were some ladies alongside the road that were selling vegetables, which we saw over and over and over again. And I want to make sure that that is ingrained in my memory because it was just such an iconic scene that we did see over and over again. And those ladies haven't changed in a hundred years. They look exactly the same. They are in the exact same kind of clothing. They are in the exact same kind of positions, probably uh, financially socially everything um it just it it is the epitome of what they call a developing country and i know i think i've said this over and over again already but boy i've never been to a developing company now i've or a country but i've been to um a couple things like in the caribbean where they're poor but i think they've had the opportunity for development much more than vietnam has and they sure haven't been through the war like vietnam has 
Um, and other countries too. I mean, I can't imagine like the Middle East and, in, in, you know, places where it's been in Ukraine, where it's been, you know, under siege for forever. But I took out this green piece of paper that came from the Allie Edwards kit this month. And I'm like, how can I make this work? So I just took my made in Vietnam pen and started coloring in some of the little bubbles in the doodle and colored them red. Now I'm kind of thinking, okay, this looks a little too Christmassy, but the green is a faint foresty green. It's not quite turquoise. It's not quite forest green. It's not quite teal, but I'm able to um, adjust it and make it all work. Um, and uh, it gave me another journaling spot, which was fantastic. And I really like how this developed from making things work together that normally should not be in this journal. Um, I am focusing a lot on red because of the color of the flag and the color of good luck and everything else in the Asian culture. Um, and so, uh, red is overpowering in this journal, but, um, I, I decided that wasn't a big enough journal spot. So I got another piece of that paper and kind of, <coughs> sorry, kind of, um, blended things together so it looked like that and then I kind of just made a a design with the paper and I'm going to journal in a color close to that tealy color and I'm adding yellow because there's a lot of yellow everywhere too because of the gold and yellow in the flag and uh, just the overwhelming colors of yellow and red everywhere um, but I was able to kind of make an outline around these pieces of paper uh, with that same tealy color that's in the journaling paper from Allie. And I think I made this journal, this piece of paper work great. In my mind, it works. And that's what I want to be able to do more of. Make this stuff works work um, and talk about the five hour drive that gave us tales of cinnamon, lacquer, um, a flat tire, um, a, what does it say? A border with China. I mean, just a fantastic long drive. Um, and I, I'm one to be able to sit and just watch the scenery go by. A lot of people sleep. It, I'm like, how can you sleep? You've never been here before. You may never come back here. How can you miss all this? Anyhow, that's just me. Um, but I was able to look out the window for five hours and remember in my head the, um, miles and miles of green and the miles and miles of little teeny tiny villages and little teeny tiny homes in the middle of a rice paddy or the middle of a, some kind of field. Um, the Red River, uh, it, fantastic, fantastic. Now I need to come back. There are a few little holes that need to be tucked, fixed here and there. Um, I got a solution for that accordion, um, pamphlet there, which I think actually I, I did film it. I didn't think I did. Um, I realized that that says Hanoi and we're on our way to Sapa. So back up lady. Um, and I, and it has a temple, temper temple of literature on it. So I was able to add that in a little bit. And then I also was able to put my accordion on the back of that postcard. So that all worked out, but there are a few places that I need to do a little bit of extra zhuzhing. That's a te technical term, zhuzhing, like the bottom of that green piece of paper there. It needs something else. Um, and that's probably going to be what I do tomorrow um, as a way of stalling to talk about Sapa, even though I could talk about Sapa forever. Um, but it's going to start talking about the the embroidery, the, the batik, the mountains, the rice paddies, the scenery, the hotel. I mean, that's all coming now um, and just fantastic. And we haven't even hit Hulong Bay yet. Oh, what a trip. What a trip. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.